Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Raj Guru Chemistry. Today, in this video, we are going to discuss the topic of electrochemistry and conductometric titration of acid-base titration. We can take in the example of strong acid as a strong base. After entering into the topic, now we see what is conductometric titration. Conductometric titration is a titration used to measure amount of an analyte present at the given solution by measuring the change in the conductance of air. Conductance is due to the movement of ion in the solution. During the titration, we see that one ion is replaced with another ion of different ionic conductivity. Throughout the titration, the conductance values keep changing. At the end of the titration, we determine the equivalent point by graphically. The reaction is given by hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide gives sodium chloride and water. Hydrochloric acid is a strong acid. It is an analyte. Sodium hydroxide is a strong base. It is a titan which is taken in the burette. Sodium chloride is a strong electrolyte. It will be dissociated as ions as Na plus and Zl minus ion. Here we take an example of strong acid as strong base. Now we are going to determine how much of HCl is present. So sodium hydroxide is tightened which is taken in the burette. H plus ion and OH minus ion are fast moving ions. These ions are high ionic conductivity. And Na plus ion and Zl minus ions are low ionic conductivity or slow moving ions. Fast moving H plus ions are replaced by slow moving Na plus ion which has low ionic conductivity. So this is going to continue till the equivalent point or neutralization point. As sodium hydroxide is continuously added, H plus ions are replaced with the Na plus ions and the conductance values are decreases at the equivalent point. The graph is drawn between the conductance and volume of sodium hydroxide. Adding the sodium hydroxide, the conductance will be decreases at the neutralization point. At equivalent point or neutralization point, only NaCl and H2O are present. NaCl has low ionic conductance. This is the least conductance all the values in the graph. After the equivalent point, excess of sodium hydroxide is added. The accumulation of OH minus ions which has high ionic conductivity. So the conductance is also increases. Now let us come to the practical chemistry in electrical experiment like strong acid versus strong base hydrochloric acid with the sodium hydroxidation. The aim of this experiment is to determine the strength of given hydrochloric acid by conductometric titration. Requirements are hydrochloric acid, sodium hydroxide, 50 ml burette, 20 ml pipette, 100 ml beaker, glass rod and conductivity meter with the cell. Here the procedure is given. The given hydrochloric acid is transferred into a 100 ml standard flask. The solution is made up to the mark using distilled water. 20 ml of given hydrochloric acid is taken in a clean 100 ml beaker and at 30 ml of conductivity water. So the conductivity cell is completely immersed in the solution. The conductivity cell consists of two platinum electrodes in which one of the electrode is act as the anode and another is act as the cathode. Sodium hydroxide solution of strength 0.5 n is added in 0.5 ml portions. The solution is straight well and allowed to attain equilibrium. Then see the conductivity of the solution between the two electrodes because of the movement of positively and negatively ions of the opposite electrodes. It will show the conductance. Fast moving H plus ions are replaced by slow moving Na plus ions which has low ionic conductivity so that this is going to continue till the equivalent point or neutralization point. As the sodium hydroxide is continuously added, H plus ions are replaced with the Na plus ions and the conductance value as decreases at the equivalent point. From the graph, we can calculate the value of sodium hydroxide. We see that this is the volume of sodium hydroxide, the complete neutralization of hydrochloric acid. The graph is drawn between the conductance and volume of sodium hydroxide. At the equivalent point or neutralization point only NaCl and water are present. The NaCl have low ionic conductance. This is the least conductance values in the graph. 
After the equivalent point, excess of sodium hydroxide is added. Accumulation of OH minus ion, which is high ionic conductivity, so the conductance is increases. Now we plan the titration of conductance with the volume of sodium hydroxide that dropping perpendicular to x axis with the intersection of two lines we have take to the value the volume of sodium hydroxide this value is the concurrent titan value from this value we can calculate the strength of hydrochloric acid present in the solution at the end of this experiment we have to determine the strength of hydrochloric acid present in the solution in this video we have discussed about what is mean by conductivity titration and what are the principles and what are the procedure for taking the example of strong acid with a strong base i hope you like this video please do subscribe the channel please and click the bell icon to get the notification thank you